Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about the Dyson Airwrap and techniques that I have learned throughout the several months I've been using it to get my hair to hold a curl. I've heard a lot of people say, oh, how do you get your hair that curly with it? Mine didn't work, I returned it. And I think what's been going on is even in the instructions on how to use it and everything I see online, it's, it just doesn't work. And if you use the techniques that I'm telling you, I promise you, you are going to get like the curliest hair that's gonna last for days. So I wanted to do this video just because I have heard a lot of people say it's not working for them. And you know, the stuff that I'm seeing on reviews, and like I said, even like on Dyson's website, I think is making your hair not hold the curl correctly. So I actually think what they're telling you is sabotaging your hair. So I am gonna talk about two different ways to do this. So if you're a girl like me and typically showers at night and then styles your hair in the daytime, in the morning, the next morning, then there's a couple things you can do to get your style to hold a little bit longer. So when you get out of the shower at night, you wanna at a minimum blow dry your hair. That's gonna smooth out your hair uh, cuticles, especially if you have curly hair. You want to use one of the brush heads like this to like get your hair to just kind of like smooth out so then in the morning when you're ready to just use the curling feature you can go right into that so um the hair dryer itself is very concentrated so if you're getting close to the scalp just make sure you put it on medium heat but if you're doing like all over your head and holding it a little farther away you can keep it on high heat um, my hair is typically like wavy, but if I blow dry it, it's pretty much straight. So all I have to do the night before is just use the blow dryer. I don't have to use the smoothing brush. And then you can either use a bonnet, like a silk bonnet or a hair tie and just do a low ponytail. That's what I do. Um, and so in the morning, your hair kind of like holds that, you know, you're not damaging the cuticles as you sleep and it just kind of holds like that straight, smooth style so that you're ready to curl in the morning. Now, this is the key part to the mistake I think that people are using when they're curling their hair when it's dry in the morning. You have to re-wet the ends of your hair before you use the Dyson. So the Dyson is just hot air. It's not heating up to 400 degrees like your other styling tools would. So your hair does have to be pretty damp to maintain and hold a curl style. So you can use regular water in just a spray bottle, but I got this off Amazon. It's Jamaican black castor oil water and it has vitamin C and vitamin E and it's 99% water, but there's a little bit of like added oil in there just to, you know, add some nutrients to my hair. So all I do in the morning when my hair is already straight is I spray the ends and then I go in with my Dyson Air Wrap, and I promise you it will work like a charm. Now, in the instance where you're getting out of the shower, like I have, um, and you're ready to just jump right into your hairstyle, uh, you don't need to re-wet your hair. What you have to do is only dry the top of your head, only dry your scalp. And while you're drying your scalp, your ends are just gonna you know, because of the airflow around you, your ends are also going to dry a little bit. But what I like to tell people is you want your scalp like to here, like I would say like to your ears, 90 to 99% dry. You want that almost fully dry. And then from your ears down, you want that at about like 70 to 80% dry. You still wanna have some significant amount of dampness before you go in with the air wrap. Now, they, it comes with two different sizes. Um, I usually use this one unless I'm sleeping in my curls. Like, if I want my curls to, to last me the night, sleep on it, and last me in the morning and not have to redo my hair, I'll use the tighter barrel just because there will be a little bit of fallout, like, as I sleep. Um, but just for the sake of the video to show you how curly you really can get your hair if you do it the right way, I'm going to use a tighter, tighter barrel and I will look like a poodle, but that's okay. It's for the sake of the video. <laughs> All right. So two things that they say online to do, which I actually found work against 
uh, my hair holding a style is using the cool set and turning it off in between curls. So I do not waste my time using the cool shot. This, this does not heat up, like I said before, to the magnitude of a curling iron. So I do not waste my time using cold air. As long as you're not brushing out your curls right away and you're letting the ringlets kind of sit in your hair while you do your makeup or while you go pick out your outfit, your curls will set. And you can use a hairspray. Um, let me show you my hairspray that I use actually. This is the hairspray that I use while my hair is still in ringlets um, to help like set my curls prior to brushing it out. Then once this is dried and while and like I feel my curls and make sure that they are like fully cooled down, then I go in with a brush and brush it out. Um, this hairspray was recommended by one of my friends um, because this is a type of hairspray where you can brush out your hair and it doesn't feel sticky and it's not like that old school um, hairspray that's, you know, you, you can't touch your curls, you know what I mean? Um, okay, so that's number one. So don't waste your time with the cool shot. Number two, don't shut it off in between curls. It saves you time and actually what that causes it to do is do like a final like curl and I'll show you guys like when I do a piece of my hair it kind of twists the curl to get an even tighter curl at the end. So I will show you that. Um, the only thing products I'm using for my hair is obviously the hairspray when I'm done curling it. Um, this water in the morning if my hair is already dry. And this is just um, a Defy Damage like leave-in protective shield for wet hair for just, you know, a heat protectant really. Um, that I use prior to going in with the blow dryer. So I'm gonna go in with my blow dryer first, get my hair, like I said, that like 90, um, 70, 80 going, and then I will start talking again. So now when you feel like your scalp is significantly dry and you still have some dampness on the ends, I don't know if you can see, I definitely have some like significant damp pieces. Um, and if you over dry your hair or you think your ends aren't like damp enough, you can just throw in some extra water. It's not gonna hurt anything. Um, so once you have the dryness where you want it, um, I just do two sections. It depends on how thick your hair is and how you like to section your hair. This doesn't matter. Um, it's just the technique of the curl that matters. So we're just gonna do one, um, one curl to show you the technique that I was talking about earlier. And then I will do my whole head and show you guys what it looks like afterwards. All right, so I'm gonna use the smallest barrel size. I always, always have it on the highest heat and the highest airflow. So high heat, high airflow, because again, we wanna, we want these curls to hold. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys one curl. You wanna kinda go up and down with your barrel in the beginning to smooth out the ends, and I'll show you, it's kind of like this technique up down up down a couple times and you'll feel it tighten up and once it gets like nice and taut then you can roll it up so I'm gonna turn it on it's pretty loud I hold it for about 10 seconds one, two, three. I feel it to make sure it's dry and then I don't shut it off. I just go like that and come right out. So as you can see, I didn't shut it off 
in between, like I wouldn't shut it off in between curls. I didn't use the cool shot and I just held it on there for a minimum 10 seconds. And this is what it looks like. I'm not gonna brush it out, I'm not gonna do anything with it. I'm gonna leave it alone and do the rest of my hair. All right, so now that I look like a poodle and looking a little crazy, a little bit George Washington wig, um, I'm going to spray my curls while they're still warm with the hairspray, the good spray. And then I'm gonna go get dressed and let my curls set in their ringlet form. So I'll be right back. All right, my friends, we're back. So now that I've gotten dressed to go literally just to the grocery store, this is the fit, <laughs> um, we are ready to brush out the curls. They don't feel warm anymore, so I think they've gotten a chance to properly set, and we're just gonna take my regular paddle brush and brush the curls. I like to brush on the bottom, um, it helps reduce frizz. And then I just do a little bit over the top, but my main brush is on the bottom. Okay. And there you have it. You can do like one more spray with the hairspray. I don't like a lot of hairspray, but if you're going to like an event or something, um, I would hit it one more time with some hairspray but since I'm literally going to the grocery store, I think it's okay. <laughs> so yeah, and this, this will stay for a couple days. I mean, you're gonna have a little bit of fallout, but it's enough that I can wake up tomorrow in the morning and just walk right out the door and still look like I did my hair, you know? So, all right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. I hope it helps if you're struggling using your air wrap um or you know helps you make a decision on getting the air wrap later i love mine and i've definitely seen a significant difference in my hair health overall so yeah like this video and subscribe if you felt like this was helpful leave a comment below if you have any more questions thanks have a good day